Hello favorite students, we are continuing on the rotation packet. This is our last video. We are looking at rotational kinetic energy. I'm on problem number one on page 71. This is where we have a hoop that is rolling across the ground and then it rolls up a hill and it stops and we need to figure out how high up the hill that it moves. So we're going to treat this the same way we treat a regular translational energy problem. Our, oops, our total energy at the beginning plus our work is equal to the total energy at the end. And here, our total energy at the beginning is some kinetic energy translational. This is what we're used to. Translational means going in a straight line. So the kinetic energy of going in a straight line. Plus, there's some kinetic energy of it rotating. So it's both going in a straight line and it's rotating as it goes. So we've got some rotational kinetic energy. The work is zero. There's no outside forces here. And we're going to roll and roll up that hill and stop. And that's going to be some gravitational potential. So we're going to plug in the equations that we know. The kinetic energy that we're used to is 1 half mv squared. The rotational kinetic energy is one half inertia angular velocity squared. So just mass and inertia are related, velocity and angular velocity are related. So similar equation, just the rotating version, is equal to mg delta y. And what we're going to do is the problem tells us that the inertia for that hoop is mr squared. So we're going to come in and put that in. 1 half mv squared plus 1 half mr squared omega squared. So I just took that i and I put in mr squared equals m g delta y. And what I now notice is I have mass in every single part of this equation, in every term, so I can cancel out the mass. And now I'm just going to plug in my givens. So 1 half, see that velocity was 20 squared plus 1 half, my radius is 2 squared, my rotational velocity is 10 squared, and all that, we know g is 10, and delta y is our unknown. So if we cancel out, oh, excuse me, we already canceled out mass, so now if we look at solving out these numbers, this is going to give us 200 plus 200 equals 10 delta y, which means that when we add these together, 400 equals 10 delta y, and delta y is equal to 40 meters. So at its highest point, when that hoop rolls up and comes to a stop, it's going to be 40 meters high. 